Now, on cold weather days like today, police see more and more people leaving their cars, running as they head into the store, even into their own home. Yeah, and in one case last night, it ended with a suspect shooting a man. Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo is here, and Thomas, this man is lucky. Yes, he's very lucky. Let's say this incident started right all the way out here on 9700 block in Commerce City for two miles. The victim followed the suspect who stole his car and it ended violently here on 96th Avenue and Eagle Creek Parkway. Now, both neighborhoods say that this is unbelievable since it's usually very safe here, which is changing the way they think about their neighborhood. The change of season. It can happen anywhere and sometimes it can happen in your own front yard. But a change to this neighborhood. I heard some sirens going on. Commerce City Police say someone on this street looked out towards their driveway around 7.30 last night. Their vehicle was being backed out and driven down the street. Stolen right in front of their home, and that makes some neighbors uneasy. It kind of makes you wonder what, what's going on, because uh, usually this is a pretty quiet and safe neighborhood. Police say the suspect took off and the victim followed a few miles down the road to Eagle Creek Parkway. Obviously, in this case, it didn't turn out very, very well. But he seemed to know what he was shooting at because he didn't exactly spray bullets. He just shot in the car. Felix came home to police on his street and found out the suspect shot the victim following him in the stolen car. They stole a car because they have the courage to do so. And the reason why they have the courage to do so is because they're armed. Yeah, who knows what else they'll do next? Right? Exactly. You know, they're, they're out of desperation. That guy got shot out of desperation. One of the factors for this theft, according to police, change from summer to fall. Went out, started it up, and then uh, went back inside. He's puffing. Yes. Okay. And it has these neighbors making a change in direction to be safer. It kind of makes me worry. <laughs> I mean, you, know, you keep your cars locked and your doors locked now. Right, right. Commerce City Police say the suspects are still at large, but as for the victim, his injury is significant, but police say he is stable. Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7.